Well, here we are again with another enthralling video to look at. And today I'm going to demonstrate to you using a little thing like an ATEM Mini to be a television station. And when I say a television station, you have the ability to be able to play back uh, programs, have live cameras, have run, run in commercials or uh, spot TV spots. <clears throat> and, and all the other things that you'd like to do out of a little presentation booth in a TV station. Now, because of um, seems to be a great trend now for more and more people to do some streaming because everybody's locked up in their homes, um, that people tend to be wanting to um, play their product from home rather than from a location. And a lot of um, live entertainment seems to be going that way. And... Um, you got to make money somehow, so what we're doing here is that we're trying to um, um, you know, get commercial uh, sponsorship through commercials. Um, as you can see up here, we have um, uh, up in, oh, where am I here? This one here. This one here has um, got an output uh, of a, um, a Hyperdeck Mini, which is down here as a Hyperdeck Mini, and that's got a whole bunch of um, TVCs on it. Um, and um, we're going to be using um, my macro controller boxes. I've got a couple of them here, um, all running at the same time um, to be able to control all this uh, in relative ease. So what, um, what I've actually got here is I've got my multi-view, which has got the four-way split coming out of the, um, the quad multi-view, HDMI goes to the goes to the ATEM Mini also goes to the, um, the multi-view four-way. I've got a program output um, over here, which is the HDMI program out of the um, out of the ATEM Mini, and that that is actually being controlled through um, we uh, the output um, section here, which is in fact a, a, a modified ATEM Oxbus, and they've just modified it and repurposed it to work with the um, ATEM Mini, and as you can see here, I can I can actually select uh, the different sources that are available, uh, as well as I can select program and preview, um, and um, with um, with this particular little switcher, <coughs> that's what's being controlled through this. So I've got um, this has only got four button macros on it, but I've got the four buttons programmed for camera 1 direct, camera 2 direct, camera 3 direct and then program. So as I'm switching here um, you'll see that um, it's switching between all the various that's the program output um, that's camera, or well, that's label camera 2 that's label camera 1 that's label camera 3 but we'll just go back to program here for a moment I'm going to fumble through this because I'm not used to hitting so many buttons in here without <laughs> first working things out um, and the second uh, macro controller box here I'm using it to play individual uh, com TVC commercials um, which um, have programmed into the macros uh, the ability to run the hyperdeck well first of all the queue the, the hyperdeck to the commercial that I want run the hyperdeck switch to the hyperdeck because um, with the ATEM Mini there's a few functions missing out of the um, the hyperdeck capabilities. Uh, I'll quickly show you those. If we go to settings here, um, we go to hyperdeck. You don't have auto roll for some reason. They must have run out of memory on their um, um, FPGA chip. Um, yeah, so you don't have auto roll, but we can do all that out of um, with using a macro. Um, the other things to be wary of with the ATEM Mini. If you go to Hyperdex up in here, you don't have stop and pause. So you can play, but if you go to pause or stop, it doesn't work. So the only way you can pause or stop is actually go to your jogger bar and just press jog and it will stop. So in all my program macros I have here, um, they, um, they have all those built into the macro. So whilst the features aren't there um, as a push button the, you can use them in the, in the macros um, now speaking of macros um, I have various macros 
which I think you probably would have seen if I just drag this up here um, a great little space in between all those buttons to put the macros but these are, these are the macros that are currently in bank uh, 3 so I can actually go through the different banks of macros but I'm in here I've got all the TVCs and with these um, with these macro boxes you can now program them to which bank you want them to use um, because there's a memory memory limit in these boxes you can't put all the macros in but you can put the bank of 20 so within these banks of 20 that you've got here there's 20 of them there you can program each box that's why I've got two boxes here to um, that get, that's programmed to bank 5 and that's programmed to bank 3 so if we go over here that's bank 3 if we have a look at bank 5 you can see I've got these buttons programmed which are the buttons for the outputs up here or the, the outputs so those, those macros are programmed for that um, these macros are quite easy to um, program and in fact most of these I hand typed I just got the basic of the macro and then saved it and then opened up the basic and then hand typed the, the rest of them um, and it was quite easy um, so as I said these are all got the TVCs on them and you'll see here um, the last two macros 19 and 20 I've actually got allocated as a block and what this block is it's a, a bunch of commercials that are all programmed to play back to back um, and um, so if you if you want to pre-assemble commercial breaks you can um, you can either do them manually by selecting each one as the commercial finishes or you can um, just make macros with with uh, which are built macros built into macros so these have got macros built into them so when I run that macro it will actually run uh, a couple of commercials I've got them short so we don't take too much time so but I could have put as many macros any commercials as many as I wanted in there uh, and this is a different set of commercials in that so you can have variations on your commercial blocks and stuff like that um, and of course um, the more the more of these um, macro controllers um, the more blocks you can control but do remember that there's only a limitation to how many Ethernet connections you can have to any ATM device I don't know what the limit is on the mini but I've had actually I've had three of these boxes running and and um, a uh, software control panel so that's four devices but I haven't actually gone much further de delved much further into that so let me just jump straight in here quickly now and I'm just going to show you a typical presentation but what I'm going to do is that I'm going to switch the output which is what we're recording I'm going to switch that to camera one which is what we were already on so you wouldn't have seen any difference but now the output on um, so you can't see anything changing now because I'm actually on permanently camera one so if I select camera th uh, input three which is this um, music video playing I can actually um, you can you'll see anything happening here that's playing that there now so what I do is if I hit button number one on this box here it's going to play a, pre a commercial a TVC or, or spot allocated to that button and you'll see it there it is playing it's um uh, I'll give you the output of the, of the ATM in it. so that's that's the TVC playing I've made these only 15 second commercials so we don't have to um, put up with it too much so um, and you see when it's finished it pauses on the last frame so that we don't get any black to wear or rubbish or anywhere. this is the second commercial um, and on it goes so if I um, if I now switch back over to uh, our program output um, here we go back to program output I could have done that on the box here I don't know why I didn't do that um, so now we're on the, the program output and um, so what I'm going to do now is that I'm just going to select this um, input 3 as it's playing now again if I push that button 1 as you saw me a moment ago you're going to see the output so you'll see that as soon as I push the button it's going to switch to the or it's actually going to play the hyperdeck and then 4 frames later it's going to switch to the deck because there's a 4 frame play delay and when this commercial finishes um, you'll see it freeze and then we cut back cut back or dissolve back or however you want to do it um, I can um, uh, I'll, I'll show you that later on but 
Um, so that's basically the way it works. And I'm going to do the same thing with um, with the second commercial. And um, there it is. So you see it's um, clean, nice clean in. And, um, and I'm just manually um, selecting whatever source we're coming back to. So there's our freeze. There, cut back. Um, I can actually also um, select dissolve. Let's run the third commercial. Introducing same race multis. And um, and because this thing um, freezes when it gets in the commercial break, I can do a nice little dissolve. And there it goes. And there we fade. And then, and because I've got AFV um, um, selected on the um, audio mixer. You'll see, uh, let's go here. You see I've got these are the early AFV. So you're getting full audio follow video. So you don't have to worry about doing the audio at a, in a separate button pushes. It all happens in there. Um, so that's the um, that's the um, this individual spots. And as I said, I've got them programmed onto, um, as this, this box here can do 16 markers, I can program them all on, yeah, every one of those commercials that are in that um, in that list of um, TVCs, I can program them onto each button, and then you'll get all all of them working if you want to run them individual. But I've got these these last two macros here, which are um, uh, as I said, compiled, uh, pre-compiled, uh, not edited. They're they're actually still individual. They're still using the uh, the individual commercials that are on TVCs that are on. Uh, in the in the uh, is on the SD card of the Hyperdeck, but um, if I hit press M, you'll see they're the four buttons that I've allocated to the these specific television commercials. Um, but I've allocated button five and button six to play the two separate um, macros that, that recall the whole bunch of um, commercials. So we're going to run that now. I'm going to press button. Five, and when I do that, it's, you'll see it dips to black, which most television stations do a quick six frame to black, and then six frame up on the on the commercial TVC. Um, and then I'll explain it as it goes through. So I'm going to leave this up here for the moment, and we're going to hit the button. And there's the fade to black. You see that fades up on the TVC. Yes. Now while the TVC is running, um, I'm going to on the on the ATM Mini control panel. I'm just going to, um, on the preview row, on the software control, but I'm just going to sit um, to what we're coming out of. You see that we went to the second commercial. That's the second commercial playing now. And then as soon as this finishes, you'll see it'll go to black. And then it comes back up on on the, um, the original playback source. Now this playback source, if it's coming off a tape, or I've, I've got this coming off a media player, and as I say, coming off a media player, I can actually pause it. So that's paused off the media player, and I can unpause it off the media player as well. So um, what um, what you can do is that you can actually um, um, pause it once you once you go into commercial break. I'll give you an example. We'll use the same commercial break again. So what I can do is that I can. Um, Go into the commercial break. I'm paused. Definitely. Wow. I've paused the. Yes. Um, I'll have a slice of oh, that. Yeah. So the commercial break's place. playing. And so as soon as we come out of the commercial break, I can unpause it again. The Just a second commercial now. The aluminium capsule designed to fit your espresso and I know when we come out of the commercial break because the activity it's light on the uh, macro the controller stops flashing. So as soon as it gets to black, I roll it. Standard espresso. You know, roll it a bit late, but um, normally you'd um, you'd roll it. You know, if you've got a stopwatch on it, or as I say, you just wait for the. Um, um, there's a little light on here, and I can make that flash if I just um, move the fader arm. You see the they're flashing, indicating that um, while the mac while the macro is running, I'll just go back to camera one again. While the macro is running, um, you'll see. With it's flashing get up to because that's the activity, the ATM activity, it's sending, sending status out. As soon as that stops flashes, with AGL online. Only available at AGL .com .au. 
See, it's still flashing now. So you can use that as a guide as well, but most people use a stopwatch um, to um, work when their commercial's about to finish. So if you've got a commercial break with um, three 30-second commercials, it's going to be 1 minute 30. Um, so let's just go back to here again, and I'm just going to show you the second spot. <coughs> it's got a slightly different lot of commercials in there. So I'm just going to press my button 6 on the controller. And there you go, faded to black. This is um, the commercial. And um, when we come out of the commercial, we're going to come back to camera 1 this time, rather than that um, concert video. So there's your first commercial. That was a 15, and this is a 30 second commercial. And these commercials are actually, you, you program the end of the commercial or, or the duration of the commercial in the macro, um, which is just a pause. So you pause for the length of the commercial, then continue on with the rest of the macro function. So we're coming out of commercial break very shortly. I've already preset the uh, coming back to. So there's no rush to do any of this. And there you go, we come back out to camera one. Um, the uh, I'm not going to cover too much about all the programming of all this. Um, this is just more of a teaser. And just to kind of let you know what you can do with this device. You can do so much. And if you want to run a TV station from home, just all you need is the ability to be able to program with macro, macros. And the, you don't even need to buy my boxes, but they sure do make life a lot easier to be able to... Um, uh, you yeah, know, just have all that at the push of a button. Um, the only other thing I just wanted to quickly show you here, if I go to go back out to camera one output, which you won't see the flash because that's we're running out. And again, if if I if you look at this um, the output of the hyperdeck here, you'll see that um, if I play um, that first lot of commercials, you'll see. Definitely. The hype, this is with the hyperdeck yes. activity. Oh, and you'll see the moment the commercial finishes, it gets a command from the ATEM through the macro to go to the next selected commercial or TVC. There it is. So it's seamless. And the, the ATEM control the hyperdeck, and the hyperdeck was able to instantaneously, with any pause or anything, play whatever was selected. You see now that's the end of the. Um, you probably saw the light flashing over there. In fact, what you saw, you would have seen, was the fade to black go down for six frames and come back up again. Anyhow, um, just contact me on um, Baz Controllers, which is. Um, oh, I'm going to come back to here again and uh, go back to program output. There's the end of our commercials there, and. These are the boxes that I've talked about, the macro and tally controllers, www.bazcontrollers.com. You will get my email from there, or you already know it and work it out. And I uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you.